Hey folks, this is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Today I've got my 2001 Pontiac Bonneville 3.8 liter V6 Series 2 here. And I'm going to show you how to replace the camshaft position sensor on it. Now I believe that this is probably going to be the same if not similar for all of your General Motors 3.8 liter V6 Series 2s. Don't quote me on that, always verify in your repair manual but to my knowledge it should be the same I don't know everything so do check me let's go ahead and get into it so the first thing I'm going to do is just remove my coolant reservoir here just to gain more clearance and, and more uh, working space if you will and I'm just going to take this hose off right here I get this little squeeze clamp on it just squeeze it together like that and work it down Now grab the hose, kind of give it a little twist there, and then pull off. Now you should have coolant in your reservoir. If you do, you want to put a catch pan up underneath because it is going to drain out, or you can suck the uh, reservoir out somehow to prevent that from coming out. But uh, do catch your, your antifreeze if you do it this way. Okay, your coolant reservoir has three fasteners that hold it on, and there's a nut down there, a bolt here, and then a nut right back here and you'll need a 10 millimeter deep well socket to get those off all right i have my fasteners removed i did that off camera we're just going to pull up and out like that set it off to the side once your reservoir is out of the way it'll really open things up and you can see you have your water pump pulley right here and then you have your power steering pump pulley right here and then down there you've got your harmonic balancer just above your harmonic balancer right there that is your camshaft position sensor and it's held in by a 10 millimeter bolt let me go ahead and put you down there in a better position so that you can see it more clearly okay so i got you uh kind of in the back of the engine compartment there looking diagonally forward at your water pump here and right here you have your harmonic balancer and your power steering pump pulley and you see you got your camshaft position sensor connector right here you got this little tang here you're going to push out on the tang and then down to pull the connector out all right this is a little side note here guys uh you saw how i took the tang on that uh camshaft position sensor I pushed out on it like that and then pushed down to release it now if it doesn't release with minimal pressure so that you don't break the tang off like I have here on my map sensor I'm just using this as an example pull out on the tang and then grab each side of the both sides of the uh, connector like so and wiggle it off that way these are made of plastic and these tangs can and will break off it shouldn't but it, it might so if the uh, connector does not release with minimal effort on that camshaft position sensor grab each side like that pull up pull out okay all right once your connector is taken loose then you're going to take a 10 millimeter socket with probably an extension and a ratchet and you're going to loosen up that bolt that holds the camshaft position sensor on and once your bolt's out of the way, you can kind of wiggle your sensor back and forth like this. Try to pull out on it while you wiggle it. It might take a little bit of doing. And there we go. That is your camshaft position sensor. And I just kind of, I just worked with it, wiggled it back and forth like that, uh, spun it back and forth like this. It takes a little bit of doing to get it out, but uh, just stay patient and uh, it should come right out. Now, once you get it out, of course, take you a lint-free rag and kind of clean that hole out where the sensor went into the, the timing cover there. Just wipe it out real good with a, a lint-free rag. And when you get your new sensor, and of course, like I said, this isn't a new sensor, I'm not actually replacing mine I'm just showing you how to do it um, take a little bit of engine oil and lubricate your o-ring all the way around uh, with some engine oil before you put the new uh, camshaft position sensor in and uh, just take your sensor and 
Just put it back in there. And when you're going in with it, you might have to wiggle it and spin it and all that stuff to get it to go in too. It should be easier to get it to go in. There we go. Take your hold down bolt. Place it back in your sensor there and bolt it down. And of course you want to torque this down to manufacturer specification. Reference your repair manual for that information and use a torque wrench. Now once you got it torqued down, go ahead and reconnect it electrically. Make sure your retainer snaps into place. Make sure it's on there good. And that's it in a nutshell, guys. Of course, you got a reverse procedure. Put your coolant reservoir back on. Top it off with some coolant. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment down below. Also, please read the entire description of this video before you attempt any of this. I've got some more important information in there, more safety information that will really, really help you with this job. Um, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Oh, and if you're watching this video on a platform other than YouTube.com, uh, you may have to go to YouTube.com and access my channel, Barber's Auto Help, find this video on my channel, and watch it there in order to gain access to the full description. It'll be below the video. Thank you guys very much.